Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. What is up? What's going on, guys? Trizzle here, tuning in, bringing you guys another great three star tutorial. Uh, today, we are going to be going over Town Hall 9 Go Bo Ho. Uh, it's been a really long time coming. Um, I should have put this strategy guide together a long time ago. Um, but as you guys know, if you've been watching the, uh, the channel, uh, we tend to have a little bit more air centric raids. I've been doing uh, using Penta uh, La Lune for over four years now, so it's very much my bread and butter. Um, I would definitely say I'm more of a La Lune guy over a Hogs guy, but that doesn't mean I don't have the skills. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this attack, guys, because it is very strong, uh, very strong attack. Uh, primarily, you are going to need to have at least, I want to say, um, medium her heroes, teenage uh, teenage heroes, um, at least 15 plus is what we're going to be looking at on this particular attack. Uh, what I would like to get into before I go over the raid objectives, guys, real quick, um, is basically what can be referred to as an opener. Uh, when we look at most attacks in the game, uh, you actually have usually a, an opener that allows you to achieve a couple uh, objectives um, so that your second half of the army can come in um, and take care of the, the second half of the base more or less. So what you had was you had uh, basically an opener that evolved based on the number of golems in a wizard based kill squad. So you have what's called cold-blooded which is one golem uh, you have shattered which is two golems and then you have stoned which is three golems uh, so each one of those uh, those words actually describe the uh, the number of golems that you're using in the uh, wizard base kill squad now keep in mind the whole purpose of the kill squad whether it's cold-blooded shattered or stoned the entire purpose of that kill squad is to take out the clan castle troops, kill the air, uh, the archer queen, as well as take out at least one expo um, and any obvious giant bomb, uh, double giant bomb spots. Uh, so very important. Doesn't matter which particular uh, one that you're actually using, you have to hit those raid objectives, guys. Um, as you can see with this particular army, uh, we are going to be using this the following army breakdown uh, it's gonna be two archers three wall breakers eight wizards 23 hogs no 24 hogs I think um, two golems a CC full of bowlers your heroes obviously um, three heal spells a jump spell and two poison spells we're gonna bring one and then bring one in the, the clan castle. Uh, because I'm upgrading my dark spell factory, uh, you won't see the um, additional dark spell in, in any of these uh, examples, but um, as you guys know, it is definitely something that you'll need. All right, so uh, when we talk about the art army that we're showcasing today, this is gonna be a tutorial for shattered Go Boho. So we're gonna be using two golems with the kill squad um, and with that being said, you're just going to go through those uh, initial objectives and then bring in your hogs on the back end of the attack. Um, I'm going to go go ahead and go through the raid objectives with you guys. As you guys know, it doesn't matter what the three-star army is. Uh, you're always going to have those raid objectives in order to give yourself the best possible chances at success. Uh, so starting with number one, um, it's usually pretty, pretty much uh, common throughout your your uh, three-star um, objectives is that you have to determine the best side of the base to attack. Uh, one, you're always going to attack into the Archer Queen uh, because if you don't take out the Archer Queen, you might as well say goodbye to your three-star because it's very likely that she will take out every single hog um, and you will only one star and you'll be very angry. So, great objective number one, determine the best side to attack, attack into the Archer Queen, um, as well as the giant bomb spots. Make sure that when you start the deployment, oh, you know what, I am so sorry. How could I forget? 
Um, if this clan castle is on the far side of the base, go ahead and pull it, guys. Uh, you always want to get that initial pull if you can. Um, if not, it's not the end of the world. That's the whole point of the double poison. All right, so the second raid objective um, is going to be to deploy your golems uh, with a pretty medium width, followed by your line of wizards, typically about three on each side. Uh, deploy your golems so that you're making sure they tank for the wizards because uh, you don't want to waste your wizards. You want to save at least one or two for cleanup at the end, so you don't want to throw them away. Once that's done, you want to drop your archer queen in the middle, followed by the wall breakers, being very careful how you drop those wall breakers, uh, making sure that they're not going to be targeted by a mortar bomb, um, or making sure that they're not going to be uh, going into some sort of splash damage um, alongside a, a golem. All right, um, the fourth raid objective is going to be to drop the jump spell um, and then after the golems start walking into the, 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 the base then we're going to deploy the, the barbarian king. Never before guys. Um, one of the things that people make a mistake when they're using a, a shattered opener is that they drop their king either with the queen or they drop it way too early um, and it's so so counterproductive because you end up killing one of the, the more stronger tanks that you have in your kill squad prematurely when the golems actually should be able to tank for the expos and sustain you know that DPS while the, the rest of the, um, the bowlers and uh, archer queen and king can start backing them up. So make sure that you don't drop your king ever before your golems start working their way into the base. Uh, so drop your jump spell, wait until the golems start walking into the base, then you deploy your king, followed by the, uh, the clan castle bowlers right in the middle. Uh, make sure that you drop your poison spells um, soon after um, to take out the clan castle troops. The poison spell deployment can be a little bit more flexible depending on how soon the clan castle troops start to come out of the, the base. So make sure if you somehow end up pulling the CC and it's a, a full pull, go ahead and get the poison spells down because you don't want your, uh, your golems to be completely annihilated or your king or queen to be annihilated um, just because you're waiting to set up the, uh, the, the funnel correctly. Uh, next would be after the archer queen, the clan castle, and at least one expo is engaged or about to be taken down, uh, then you're going to bring in your hogs, guys. Uh, make sure that when you deploy your hogs that you do it in a horizontal line, and that's usually going to come in adjacent to the kill squad. Uh, once you get better at practicing and using hogs, you can do a little bit more of a targeted release, generally about three to four hogs per defense. But until that time comes, you really need to go with the bread and butter, just do an, a line, a horizontal line. Don't drop in one spot because that's not ideal. You want to spread them out in a line adjacent to the kill squad. Uh, next, uh, seventh objective is going to be to heal as needed. Uh, generally speaking, you'll want to scout the base ahead of time if you can. Take a look and see where your obvious uh, gi uh, giant bomb spot openings would typically be on the base. Uh, you want to be mindful of that. Um, but the general places where you'll be utilizing your heals would be to, one, you want to watch the, the expo as well as the wizard towers um, and obviously the giant bomb spots. All right. Um, the final raid objective is going to be to deploy your cleanup wizards after the hogs process that part of the base. So once the, the hogs sweep through and take out all the defenses on that side, uh, there's nothing that'll be able to target the wizards, so you can actually go ahead and get the cleanup started um, as soon as you possibly can. Um, and that's crucial, guys, especially when you're dealing with um, sometimes having to do a pull, pulling out this clan castle. Uh, you can sometimes end up running out of time if you're not careful, um, especially if there's you know surprises that'll happen throughout the raid, a troll Tesla, you know, you take your pick. Alright, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get into the, um, the actual attacks. That way we can see this in action because it is such a strong attack um, that you guys really, really need to start practicing it now. Alright, so here we go. Go ahead and try to 
pull the CC from the bottom left. I did get a partial pull uh, from there. I go ahead and deploy the golems on the top of the base uh, with the wizards behind to start creating that funnel. After that, the archer queen comes down. Then I pay very close attention as to where and when I'll be dropping my, my wall breakers to make sure I don't get a fail. A wall breaker fail can be very, very much of a detriment. Um, in this particular raid, I ended up dropping the king like a retard, and he ends up going on a walk, as does you know one or two of the bowlers. But um, I am still able to, you know, obviously three star the base. Um, but I should have done a, a lot better. Um, seeing that they kind of went off, the king had gone off to the left. I went ahead and decided to deploy the um, the hogs over there because um, I know they'd come in fairly strong and they wouldn't need a heal spell until at least they got closer to that wizard tower and the expo in the center of the base. Um, from there, I bring in a few more hogs down at the bottom, um, heal as they go into the uh, the expo, um, and then that's pretty much it. By the time the, the rest of the hogs converge and swing around, uh, the only major threat left is that wizard tower, and by that point, you know, there's plenty of hogs left to easily take out that part of the base. And uh, this attack ends up being funny because at the very end, wait for it, wait for it, boom, bacon, ha ha ha. If you're a fan of bacon, so am I. I love bacon. Um, not talking about my raids, obviously, but um, who doesn't love bacon? In any event, guys, um, that was just, you know, I don't want to say dumb luck or unluckiness. Obviously, it would have been a, a really strong raid. Had I not gotten unlucky at the end there with those giant bomb spots. And with this being a fresh, you know, hit in um, trophy pushing, you know, you definitely be got to be happy with that. Because, you know, in terms of the raid objectives, um, they were all done, you know, as as we want them to have them, as we would like to have them executed. Alright, so going on to the next attack. I'm going to show you guys another example here. Here we've got a, another uh, Town Hall 9. Uh, this one is a little bit more of an island ring base. Somewhat spread out, but um, definitely um, good enough to hit. So go ahead and again, determine the best side to attack. Uh, one key thing that I have found, guys, if you can approach the Expos one at a time in a piecemeal fashion, um, that is a little bit better than taking on both Expos at once. Just because the two golems can actually um, get taken out rather quickly since you're not really using a raid spell to help the, uh, the bowlers process uh, the um, additional defenses. Uh, you'll also notice that you know with the, uh, the kill squad you want to bring those in again as the, the expo is targeting the kill squad. Um, whether it's a golem or a king, whatever it is that's tanking the, uh, the expo, you need to go ahead and take advantage of it. Um, and make sure that you bring in the hogs um, while it's being distracted. Uh, typically, if you time it correctly, uh, you'll be able to take out the expo with your kill squad, um, and then the other expo will usually fall to the, uh, the hogs that you'll bring. If not, the, uh, the bowlers will end up taking it out uh, with some, um, some bowler bounces. So, again, a pretty, pretty solid uh, attack. Um, I am able to take out, you know, max nines uh, pretty much at will. All things considered, you know, the heroes on this account, I know that um, I mentioned that you kind of need to have too many, uh, your heroes need to be at least level 15 or higher. And yes, you will be able to pull off this attack with lower heroes. Uh, but when I say that, I mean in a war setting where you're going to be actually facing the strongest possible defenses, um, strongest possible clan castle, you're not going to have defenses upgrading, you know, so you're going to be, you know, hitting a base, you know, as it's fully prepared um, to take on the actual hit. So because of that, uh, you have to you know, make sure that you're bringing the, the required tools. So with that being said, I'm just going to show you guys this, uh, this final attack. Uh, which again, Max Town Hall 9, um, because of the, the queen being down, not going to lie, this was probably a little bit easier, but I still wanted to, to show you guys the general deployment. Um, because you will come across bases that have centralized playing castles that aren't going to be 
easily lorable. Uh, don't sit there and waste, you know, three or four or five hogs. Um, I know it um, can be tempting, but hogs are a little bit different than loons, and it's usually um, better for you to just go in there strong with your kill squad, allow the, um, the king to take out the queen, allow your bowlers to take out the uh, first expo, and use the double poison spell to make sure that the, um, the clan castle troops are nothing, or no, don't pose any type of major threat. So, as you guys can see, uh, the bowlers a lot of times are up for the entire raid, and uh, I'm not even, you know, raging them with this particular, you know, spell combination. And to some people, that might kind of seem like they're not making the most out of the troop, which, you know, I can definitely, you know, hear that school of thought, which is why I actually have two different variations. Um, when it comes to this particular army. Uh, one of which, you know, allows you to utilize three heal spells and a jump spell along with the two poisons, whereas the other spell breakdown uh, swaps out one of the, uh, the heal spells for a raid spell, um, so that way you can actually rage the, um, the, the bowlers with the, uh, the kill squad. So just to kind of show you guys an example of that particular variation, uh, this is actually the two heal spell, one raid spell combination, and it's the exact same army, guys. Um, again, you want to start off by luring the clan castle. Uh, if nothing's in there, great. Uh, you're going to attack into the queen as always. Get your golems down, set your funnel, get your wi uh, wizard spread wide enough to where you're not going to have stuff go wandering, um, but not too far where they're not under protection from the uh, the golems. So once that's done uh, and you've created that, that nice funnel and your golems have made their way into the first layer, uh, then you can go ahead and more or less get everything started. Um, because again, as you um, take out the Archer Queen, you take out the Clan Castle troops and you engage that first expo, then you can just bring in the hogs, and it's Sayonara. Um, I didn't realize that he had all of his giant bombs at the top of the base. Uh, that could have um, helped and hurt, you know, at the same time because of the release. I had a nice, wide, even spread, and because of that, you know, none of the hogs end up taking on the full force of the giant bombs, uh, which is another strength to the the, the wall release, guys. Um, if you've been playing this game long enough, you'll actually know that that particular style of hog release was called the Asian wall release and this was way back when way 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 back in the day um, back in the day when I was young I'm not a kid anymore anyways um, it, it still um, was a little bit different but in any event you know the game changes I'm not gonna cry about that but definitely wanted to show you how um, how powerful this other variation is. Alright, so what I would recommend if you do have heroes that are fairly robust, uh, what I mean by that would be heroes at least 18 plus, you know, level 20 plus, then you can actually make a little bit more out of your kill squad, and because of that, you can actually pull off using that raid spell combination as opposed to relying more heavily on the, the hogs. Uh, because my Dark Spell Factory is currently upgrading, and because I have, I consider them to be lower heroes, um, I didn't um, really use that particular variation that much, but it is still effective. Alright, so definitely appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is another tool in the tool belt because most bases. The current meta is set up to defend Laloon for the most part, but the bulk of clans that you'll face out there, they won't have a, a base that can stop both Hogs and Laloon. So if you can round out your your attacking skills and master this particular you know ground army, um, you'll be unstoppable as a Town Hall Nine guys. Because uh, in and of itself, Laloon is such a strong raid that you know if you work out the the technical aspects of that you master it you're, you're basically just 
by doing that alone, you'll become an elite attacker. Um, and then if you can add this to the to the game, oh my god, guys, you will be a boss. Um, but with that being said, guys, I don't want the video to run any longer. I know I can sometimes ramble, um, and I don't want to say ramble. I should say sometimes I can be long-winded. Um, but in any event, as you guys know, we're pretty much at the end of the month. Uh, we are going to have just a couple more days left for the July gift card contest. So please make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification bell, guys. Being first to comment on the videos does make a difference. Also, it gets it out of the way because if you don't, you could end up forgetting. Before you know it, it slips your mind. And then, boom, you lost the, uh, the gift card, the chance to win the gift card for the month. So uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment. July 2017 gift card and holla at your boy um, PS don't be a hater guys doesn't look good thanks so much for watching Trizzle tuning out